Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm just going to do kind of a quick video, kind of, because <laughs> I forgot to tag this on to my, my book haul was really big in May, so I decided to do kind of a, another video that I'll put up later. So, um, this is well, the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of June, my mom came and stayed with me, and on um, Saturday, we didn't have anything to do during the day, so she talked me into doing one of the things I've been wanting to do for months, which is clean out one of my closets, and I did the uh, guest room closet, so I do not have a before picture because we've already done it, and, you know, she doesn't know I film stuff like this, so she, I didn't, or she, well, they do, but not really, anyway, point is, is I didn't film it, so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to make at least one of the bookcases today. And then, as I said, I'll kind of do, this will be, you know, putting new book shape, bookcases in my, um, uh, in my guest room closet. <laughs> Cause I need more bookcases. I want to move out my movies and my CDs from my guest room and move them into the closet. And then also have some books in there as well. But then the, so the books in my guest bedroom are books just all books, not not a mixture of that stuff. So anyway, so let me go show you the closet. <laughs> so to start this. Okay, so this is my guest room. Yeah, it's not. But anyway, so this is the bookcase that's in here right now. So as I said, I have movies. I have books in there too. I have a lot of my, all my mysteries and uh, some of my um, presidential uh, biographies are on top. But I have a lot of movies and I have have all my CDs down at the bottom. <laughs> have for all the years anyway so and here's cooper of course because i'm talking anyway so in the closet so you can't it's kind of hard to see in here because the light doesn't work the something's wrong with the light so i got rid of a lot of jackets yes that's my old letterman's jacket and then i've uh reduced everything i guess my wine storage is here but anyway this corner let's see if it's gonna let me is where i'm gonna put my bookshelves um so the big one will go here and the small one will go here so um, I think I did pretty good on cleaning it out. I saw the, I have the, we can see the floor. You can't tell. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. And as I said, then I can change out the stuff in this one. Um, so that it's um, mysteries will still stay here, but I might move over uh, another genre. I'm not sure what I'm going to move over here or what I'm going to move also in the closet. But this is the kitty's favorite windows. They look outside. Isn't that nice? Yes, Cooper, you're a good boy. Anyway, so now I'm going to go, um, as we go back through the house, real quick. So there's the comforter I'm going to make the bookcases on. So again, I have a big one, Billy bookcase from Ikea, and I have a smaller, a half size one. I mean, half there, it's um, half of the size. So they'll both fit in there. So anyway, we're going to start building that. I'm sure Cooper is going to help me. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Okay, I've started. That's good. It's three o'clock. My mom's going to call me any minute. I have done all those. So I'm just going to start putting the little metal tabs in this one. Oh, I mean, it goes, it doesn't take too long. It's just uh, bending over a lot. Anyway, uh, Cooper, or no, that's Truman. Cooper, of course, is chewing on the plastic. Anyway, so we are working our way through this. Yeah, you guys are real helpful. What are you stuck on? Kitten. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think he's stuck on that. I'll have to go get him. <laughs> okay, he's okay now. So, oh, this has been not my best put of to put this together. I noticed... <laughs> You know, because I forget, because it's been a couple of years since I put one of these together. I forgot how temperamental those holes are to put the um, the little dowels and things in. So I'm close. I'm almost to the back, but I'm going to let them play with this a little bit just so then I can scare them off to put the backing on and hammer that in. But I need a break. Oy. Okay, I am out of breath. I struggled to get this in here. Oh my gosh, I got it in the big one. 
So there's still space for the smaller one here. I have eight, almost 19 inches and it's 15 and three quarters or something like that. But I haven't put the shelves in yet because I don't know how, how I want them, but oh my gosh, that was a struggle to get that through the house and in here. So that's a bad picture, but that's it. You know, just, oh man. So I am wiped out. Oh my gosh. It's like five o'clock. Well, almost five o'clock. It's been two hours because I took a lot of breaks and the cats were playing around in it. So it took me a while to get it to where they wouldn't attack it when I did the hammer in the back on it because I didn't want them to jump on it and break it. And then I just struggled it in here, which was a bad idea. I should have waited for my brother to come home. He's going to be home in about an hour and a half. Um, he's coming back from his, the family, the male, the, all the guys go fishing. He's supposed to be back in like a half hour or about an hour and a half. I should have waited for him because that was ridiculous. So then I do the smaller one. It probably will be easier, but I'm not putting it together today. That'll be another day. So I will uh, revisit this <laughs> once I do the smaller case. I'm just, I'm done. Hey guys, so now it is Saturday, the 10th of June, and I'm just about to get started um, making the small bookcase for the closet. So um, <laughs> the cats, of course, are here. So <laughs> there's, you know, that's going to be uh, kind of, they're walking all over the boards. I have the boards on the ground already, ready to go. I'm going to flip them around though. I remembered that when I put the other, the bigger one together, it was easier to put the end towards my hallway. So when I pull the um, backing in, it's easier because I can't, my uh, treadmill is on the other side. So there's no space to uh, get that in there. So I'm gonna flip those boards around and then I'm gonna start putting pegs in and things. So hopefully this will go faster since I just did the big one. There is exactly the same instructions. Um, and again, there's the same shelf. Just This is the, it's half the width. I think this one's like a 15 and three quarters. Uh, with so um, it's the same size height wise so I want to get it done today because I want to I have to okay so Saturday I told myself that this morning I had to put the bookcase together so I have both bookcases in the closet and then put the shelving in because I haven't done that yet um, and then um, I will see how I feel this afternoon if I'm going to start moving stuff into the closet or wait till tomorrow <laughs> to do that because I have to go do some errands around lunchtime to get some stuff done, like I'll get my dad's um, Father's Day gift. Um, it's just a gift card, but anyway, I gotta go do that. And then um, we'll see, uh, I don't, and then I have to hit one grocery store, Trader Joe's on the way back for something I'm gonna make taco salad tomorrow. So um, I think that's it. So anyway, we're gonna, uh, I'll show some pictures as we go along uh, and then we'll see what it looks like when it's in the closet. I need to get a light in the closet. So I might have to go, one of my errands might have to be to go to Home Depot today or tomorrow and I might need to get one of those things that like uh sticky one of those uh, lights that go on the wall like you just attach it to the wall and you can just hit it and it turns on the light in there does not work the elect I don't know I haven't had an electrician out since when we first moved in so I didn't know that closet light didn't work I can't get it to uh, come on even though I've changed the bulb so um I might try again with the bulb but I'm pretty sure we tried that so Anyway, but I might buy some lights in there for on the wall so that I can see the books or the DVDs and the movies and the, or the DVDs and the CDs that I put in there. We'll see what happens. That's later down the list. So anyway, so me and, can you see both cats? No. Well, one's, oh, one moved. <laughs> Sorry, Cooper's right here. Um, we're going to put this together. Well, I'm going to put it together and they're going to fight me for it. <laughs> you guys are so not helpful. Oh. Really? Sorry, they're funny. It's going to be a long morning.
They're being so helpful. <laughs> I'm tired but okay so the big the, the thin one is done now I'm gonna go try to put it in the closet <laughs> and then I need to do all the shelves I just haven't done that yet so oh, wish me luck because <laughs> I have to drag it through the house on the comforter to the carpet in the guest room and then put it in the closet so we'll see how this goes and the cats are already looking at it so I need to move okay so it's gonna it's really hard to tell but again I have, there's only a little gap between them, so very thin. I might be able to put some something in there, but mostly it fits exactly. So as I said, it's just kind of a walk-in, and as I said, most of my stuff is here, and then that I, and then the bookshelves will be here. So I'm gonna put the shelving in with my little flashlight, and we're getting closer. Hey guys. Oops, well, anyway, whatever. Cooper and Truman um, had to check out the cat tree because I moved it to get the shelf in here. So, because in Cooper's lane where it normally goes, and of course, Cooper, Truman has to check out to see how high he can get and if he can get on the other bookcase, which is not what I want him to do, even though I'm going to start emptying that out to put stuff in here. But, okay, we'll get back to putting the shelves in. Okay, shelves are all in. The bottom was a, you should have seen me. It was pathetic. Anyway, anyway, so these are all done now. Yay. So, hold on. Okay, so I'm done with this for right now. <laughs> I'm going to wait till this afternoon before I load more stuff in or I might wait till tomorrow. We'll see how I feel right now. I feel really accomplished that that is done. And um, <laughs> so I'm going to, so again, this is, so it did take me, well, I did Sunday, the first one. I couldn't do it during the week. It was just, it was a long week. And uh, just every night I came home, I'm like, no. Nope. So I got it done. Whew. So um, I'm going to now show you what I'm going to move over. And then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> because again, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to take a break. And then I have to go do some errands and do lunch. I deserve lunch. Do you, do you think that's why I'm thinking about going to Cheesecake Factory so I can get a cheesecake? Yeah. I think it is. I think I deserve it. Anyway, probably not, but I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. And then again, I said do my few errands and then come back. And then we will um, see if I, I might start moving stuff over. I might not do it all today. I might finish tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see what my motivation feels like after lunch. Because right now I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so here is what I'm going to move. I'm going to move all my CDs. Yes, they're double stacked and all and awesome all the way <laughs> back through there. And I'll get those on the shelf and in the closet. I'm going to put them on the bottom ones because, again, just there. Just put them out of the way. I'm not getting rid of them. Sorry. Um, I'm going to keep all my mysteries here. So I will re be reorganizing all this stuff in my stuff. Mysteries. Yeah. And stuff. And then um, at the I have double stacked DVDs up here. I have some also out front and the bottom of a bookcase, but they're not moving. Those are the ones I watch more often. These are my just collection stuff so this stuff will all go in the closet so I think between all the CDs and then the movies it'll take up a couple of the bottom ones on the big one I think and then I have all the other space so we'll see what happens I'm hoping to move stuff around as I said I want to go to get more stuff in here we'll see what I add out here I'm thinking of moving historical fiction in here so we'll see if I have enough space that's my goal and then maybe some of my library book haul books, you know, stuff I got cheap, they'll go in the closet. So we'll see. Anyway, so that's kind of where we're at. I'm making progress. Okay, so I've double stacked the CDs, mostly on the big one in the first the two bottom ones and then a little bit on the small one and then all my dvds and i still have space where i can put some stuff on top of these ones if i need to because i have quite a few in the other place so i might move some here so i still have four um on the big one so you can't really see it when i don't have 
things to look at. And then, um, and then three, um, on the small one. So I have a lot of space. I'm really, really glad about moving all that stuff into here, even though it'll be a pain in the ass when I have to find, look for something, but it gets it out of my guest room, as I said. So yes, Cooper is here. He keeps getting in the way. So, um, I have, so the bottom two are empty and then a little bit there. And then um, there's a, the top full one and then a little bit behind those books on the second shelf. So I have quite a bit of space. So we're going to see. I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> I'll come back when I'm a little bit ready to start moving books. Or I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what it is. It's about 120. So I might get another wind, <laughs> second wind to do this. And uh, I'll do it. So made progress. Yay. Okay. So a little progress. I have moved around the mysteries. They're not, they're still double stacked and um, I have it usually by author or by um, series. So I, I don't need to take up that much space for those. And then I have a lot of my standalones below that or the start of series that I haven't got into. So I still use a lot of <laughs> bookshelf for all my mysteries, Nora Roberts and um, you know, some of my um, big ones that are like mystery of some sort. So I have three shelves at the bottom here and I'm thinking I'm not going to fill those yet because I might, I'm not going to do that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving historical fiction into the closet to get it out of my office um, so that I have more space for classics in my office. And then um, we'll see. I don't know. I might, I might move over here some kind of fantasy or maybe sci-fi i don't know some other genre will go there that needs two shelves and i think i'm going to try to leave the bottom one free for unhauls i don't know if that's going to work but I, that or that i have to leave one open in the closet for an unhaul so we'll, we'll see as i said i'm working on it i don't really like how the mysteries look right now but they're all in there and i can mostly find everything because i put it either by author or you know they're kind of together so it's still all the same genre I mean, again, there's a couple thrillers and a couple um, suspense and things like that and then regular mysteries. So, I don't know. All different kinds of things. Anyway, I kind of want to display my Mary Stewart ones a little better. So, I might move might move those. Anyway, well, we're working on it. It's for now. It looks okay. We'll, we'll see what happens next. Okay. So, I have put a lot of non or historical fiction here. Um, so this shelf is kind of a little messy. And then I put ones that all fit on this shorter shelf on here. So it does go all the way back. So I will have to have some issues with that. And then I did the top one. So this is all my historical fiction that does not, that is not on um, part of a bookshelf in my living room that are technically ones I want to get to sooner rather than later. But also a lot of the ones here are ones I want to get to soon. So... I'm just not reading historical fiction right now, unfortunately. So, but I got quite a bit in here. I'm going to leave this shelf open for now. This might be my unhaul shelf, but it's kind of big. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. So I still have the three shelves here. So now I get to decide what goes there. So we're, we're working. We're getting, we're making progress. And sorry for the messy, I'm, <laughs> next thing is to clean the office. I cleaned out this shelf. And this bottom shelf, or this second shelf, and then this shelf. So those are where all, a lot of those historical fictions came from, as well as the bottom shelf here that is covered. It was almost all those, but like three books, was uh, historical fiction. So now I'm going to go through all the books I got <laughs> during April and May that I haven't put away on my shelf, and see if there are any of those are historical fictions to go in that room. Um, and then I have to decide what else moves to the closet and to the guest room, but I'm making space. So I'll, I'm going to move a lot of my, um, well, over here has all the double spaced, um, double stacked, um, uh, what am I going to say? Classics that I'm going to move down to this one for sure. And then I'm going to make more, make the two bot the three bottom ones here, all my translated because they're all double stacked and I want, or some of them is double stack stacked. So I want to make sure I have three rows of that and then I have this spare one here so we'll see what happens that one is going to go away it's going to be a fantasy at some point but we'll 
as I said, I, my bookshelves are kind of packed. Anyway, so update. Okay, so I did move around some of the mysteries. I moved my Mary Stewart's down again so I could see them better. I moved Agatha Christie up, but that's fine. You know, so I, so I have four, five, I have five of stuff that's usually mysteries or Mer Nora Roberts. I just kept Mary Nora Roberts in here, but in that. And then what I did is the last, the bottom ones, the third from the bottom, is kind of my horror shelf or the ones that I'm more, most interested in to read or in all my Wendy webs of like the weird kind of, there's a paranormal element to some of them and, uh, or I don't know if there will be or not. But they're the more horror titles that I'm looking forward to that are not out front on my other um, uh, bookshelf. And then the bottom two, I made all sci-fi so everything fit here, um, except for whatever books, except for that one Alistair Reynolds book didn't fit in there. So, um, well, that's fine. I just, that was the best I could do. So that's it. Sci-fi moved out here. I actually now pulling it. I don't have as much sci-fi as I thought I did, but I also have a lot of this to read. I have not read most of these. So that tells me I need to read more sci-fi. Anyway, so I'm, that's what I'm going to show right now. Tomorrow I'll probably work more. So tomorrow I'll probably work more in my office. Um, it is like my office library. Um, it is a disaster now that I've pulled all these books out and moved stuff out of the way to get to those books. So um, I still have the one big shelf open and the three smaller ones on that bookcase so I haven't filled those and I'm not I think I'm gonna leave those empty for now because you know it'd be nice to have space to grow because <laughs> I buy so many books I'm so bad anyway but right now um as I said the office is a disaster so I'm not gonna show it I'll show it here the next clip will probably be tomorrow when I start tackling that because what I'm gonna do is clean out everything um and uh, put on the bed here <laughs> all the stuff I need to go through that um, I just has gathered, it's been a dumping zone since I cleaned this room out when my mom came to visit and it's, I just haven't re put everything away. So now that I've got <laughs> as far as I have today, um, I'm feeling really accomplished that I moved uh, so much around. Um, it did, I did take a lot of breaks. I did take a nap <laughs> at one point, me and the cats just sacked out, um, that was unexpected, <laughs> but it worked. So as I said, I think, um, um, I said, I'll just continue this, um, tomorrow. So, um, and then, then I'll, um, as I said, I'm probably not going to clean the whole office, but I'm going to do a lot of bookshelf moving. So I'm going to move around. As I said, I'm going to get all the junk out right now and then I'll probably have to go through it, all that stuff another day. But I want to get the bookshelves at least semi put back together because right now there are gaps everywhere. There's holes. Oh, there's so much to do in there. And I'm just, I just pulled books for in here and in the closet so that um, it is all done. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, we'll see if I can keep those shelves free still in the closet. Um, as I said, I'm gonna probably keep at least one of those, if one of the small ones or the big one for the unhaul pile. Um, Cause there are books on my shelf here that I pulled that I'm like, am I ever gonna read that? So now, again, it's to the point now where I'm seeing things again because the, I've had been double stacked on a lot of shelves in um, my office. So it's good to get my sci-fi where I can see it. Cause again, it's just a genre that I like, but I don't read a lot of because I I don't always have good luck with it. It's not a favorite. Like I, I like certain things and then other things just don't work. Yes, Cooper is here because <laughs> I'm talking on there. Um, so, but as I said, I wanna, my fantasy is just out of control. Now that I have a whole, uh, fantasy romance. I need a, a lot of books of that. I need a whole section for that, which I need to clean out um, some areas for that. So I think I have a plan. I'm going to look at it a little bit more, but as I said, I will come back to you tomorrow um, and we will try to get that done. I want to be done by Sunday with all the book stuff. Um, the junk and all the stuff I need to go through um, is probably not going to get done this weekend. Um, but maybe I can get through that later. But anyway, I'm going to try to wrap up the vlog to, or this vlog tomorrow on doing my bookcases. And I'll give you a tour once we're done, of course. So anyway, but I'm not to that point yet. It is so bad in there. My books are everywhere. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so anyway, we will, we will, uh, <laughs> we'll continue on. Okay, so it's Sunday morning. I just filmed my update and then I started working on moving books around. So it's not perfect. And I do have some space so I could undouble stack some a few things, but I'm not going to right now. I just wanted to get things off the floor and kind of in places where I can find. So over here, how will let me flip the camera around. So I still have a junk <laughs> level. But I moved a lot of the classics that were double stacked here down to this one. I just put them in here. I'm not organizing right now. That'll be another day when I want to do it. And as I said, I moved out a little bit of my um, translated. So I have a lot of space for more translated works, which is nice. And I did keep this one blank for right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to move over there. I'm just going to leave it empty for now. So it, it'll probably be filled with either classics or translated. Marriage what I buy. <laughs> and then over here, I have, this is where the jumble mess is. I have a lot of things double stacked that I didn't move, but I did clear out the whole bottom shelf. So right now, my extra nonfiction that doesn't fit out front is there at the bottom shelf, but that'll probably move. I'm thinking of moving all my old school um, Victoria Holtz and Mary Stewart's and Phyllis Whitney's moved those to the closet. So I haven't done it yet. Um, and Binicky, or Mauve Binicky, is that what her name is? I don't know. Um, I have all those down on the lower, the first and second shelf there. So I might move those out to give romance more mo space because my paranormal and historicals and some of my contemporaries are, there's just not enough space. So we'll, we'll work on that. Um, I just refilled down here. That was a gap. I still have some space there. I changed things around on my shelves to kind of make room. Um, I do have some um, sci-fi that did not make it into the other room. So I put it on the shelf. Um, all, they're all ones I've read. So they're, they'll stay there because they're red. They're, they don't need to be on the, the other shelves. So I did move some stuff around. Um, but... Really, overall, I just made, I have space down at the bottom, as I said, and I, as I said, I think I might move those over, I haven't decided, and then I have a whole shelf here and a little bit there, so there could be movement, so I think that's what it is for now. Yes, I cleaned everything, now the cat, look, two seconds, two seconds, cat. I had that where you could see it for two seconds. Okay, so I think that's it, um, as I said, I still have... Shelves open in the closet right now. I finished the guest room yesterday. Here is as good as it's going to get for right now. So that is kind of the tour. So um, anyway, it's not perfect. And I have a lot of work to do. And I have a lot of books to read. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, maybe I'll do a better book uh, shelf tour sometime. I mean, I'm not going to go through every book. Uh, guys, I have a lot of books anyway. <laughs> but I might show more shelves. I still do need to get rid of this junk <laughs> level. Haven't done that in since I got here. Anyway, <laughs> since I put that up, that's my electronic dumping zone. Anyway, which I need to work on my desk. Oh, that's the next project. And just, let me just show you, hold on. And this is the next project. This is all the stuff that came out of this room that I haven't been, gone through yet or the office that I need to go through. So yeah, I have work to do, so. Quick recap, I moved a lot of stuff over here, and, and then again, the closet. As I said, historical fiction, I have an empty space, more historical fiction, all my CDs, all my DVDs, well, except for some that are out front, and then I have empty space. So I do have some room, but overall, mission accomplished. Okay, that's the end of this. I will um, <laughs> put this together and post it at some point. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that, as I said. We'll see, um, <laughs> again, I am going to Pals uh, on Saturday with my dad, so <laughs> we'll see how much of that space is still left. I am using only credit when I go, so that's good, because I have a lot of credit and gift cards, so. Maybe I'll be good. I don't know. Anyway, 
Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.